New stuff. So we got some new items here from the Dario. Shout out to my man Larry over at the, the Dario Canada. I just asked them if they had anything new on the street that they might want me to, uh, to show you guys to look at. And they sent me a little box. So I'm going to open this thing up. Um, I don't really know what's in there. I have an idea. I know one of them is a drum head, but uh, I don't know what else he put in here. So I'm going to open this thing up, show it to you, give me a little review, and then you can see if you're interested on picking them up. So let's get to going, see what's in here. I could have just looked at the packing slip, but that ain't no fun for you guys. Ah, all right. So it looks like there's two drum heads in here and a pair of sticks. So these are, okay, these are the Carter McLean signature sticks. Uh, I've been curious about these because I heard they were pretty hot. So that'll be cool. I'll try these out. And for new heads, what do we got? Uh, this is a snare side 300. I thought that was already out. It might be already out. I don't know. They sent me one anyway. So there's that. And this is new. This is a 14 inch heavyweight dry. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. All right. This looks cool. This looks bulletproof. All right, so it's only a couple of items. Let me check these out, and then I'll tell you about them in a bit. Yeah. So let's talk first about these Carter McLean sticks. Um, this is a hickory stick. The diameter is 0 0.571. Uh, so it's just slightly thicker than a 5A. Um, but the funny thing is it, it almost kind of feels like a 5B because the taper on this thing is super short. So I mean, if you're the type of drummer that likes to hold the sticks, way back here, then, um, then you're really going to be able to enjoy like the full weight of this stick. But the most interesting thing about this design is the tip. With the taper starting really towards like the last two inches or so, you can get some really dynamic kind of action, especially on the ride. Now we've all heard Carter play. He's obviously an extremely dynamic, and very smooth player. Um, so this is a pretty smart design, man. This, this kind of makes sense according to how he plays. Now I am going to try these on the kit in a little bit, but you know, as far as my first impressions go, these are really interesting. I mean, it's probably going to be a little different when you try these out, but as soon as I picked them up, like my, my first instinct was to hold them sort of way back here, just so I can... just so I can feel that nice weight of the stick.
So let's talk about this Godzilla for a second. This is the heavyweight dry. This is new. And uh, man, if you hold this thing in your hand, you will definitely get the impression that this just might be the heaviest and thickest mylar head that Evans makes. This is two plies of 10 mil mylar. So this is kind of like sticking two G1s together and slapping a reverse dot on it. And it also has the holes, hence the dry term. Um, so the holes, of course, will sort of eliminate or help to eliminate the ring and make this thing particularly dry sounding. It also has what appears to be that delicious UV-1 coating. So man, this thing is darn near indestructible. The flavor profile for this head is supposed to be fairly balanced between attack and tone. The sustain, of course, is gonna be a lot shorter and durability is gonna be through the roof. So I'm gonna be interested and checking this thing out. I'm not gonna put this on my ANF. Um, my maple snare is at the church, but I do have my uh, 14, six and a half Weckle aluminum on here. There's a G1 on there right now. I think I'm going to, uh, no, sorry, not a G1. There's a UV1 on there right now. I'm gonna take that off, put this thing on it, and let you hear it. And then finally we have the snare side 300. Um, this is not new. This has been out for a good bit. This is probably their most popular snare side head. Super thin, it's like rice paper. There's nothing too exciting about it. I'm not gonna stick it on a snare and let you hear it because you're not gonna freak out or anything. Um, but I mean, if you are swapping both heads out on your snare drum and you want a new resonant side or snare side head, this is probably the one to look at. They have three. There's a 500, there's a 300, there's a 200. And like I said, this is easily the most popular one of the three. So if you're interested in anything that you saw here today, I will leave the Sweetwater links in the description box. Just click on those. That'll take you straight over there and you can do some shopping. So thanks for watching this video. Don't forget, got a big summer sale going on in the merch shop right now. Use a discount code SUMMER21, get you 15% off your order until the end of July. So you still got a lot of time if you want to snatch up one of these t-shirts. As for me, I'm out. New viewers, new subscribers, welcome to the channel. Occasionally we review stuff here, but mostly it's about getting better at all this. So make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when the next video is coming out. Right there is the subscribe button. Make sure you mash that before you bounce. Drop a comment below if you got one. Like, subscribe. See you next video.